one of the most terrible things you can see is an animal in pain. However, this is something animal rescuers have to deal with on a daily basis. Many of them focus on rescuing and rehabilitating abandoned animals. One such reputable organization is Hope for Paws. This story began when Hope for Paws rescuers received a call from someone who had found a German Shepherd in the parking lot. Now before we continue with this story, we suggest you grab some tissues because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. The day was pretty grim when the Hope for Paws team received a call about a stray dog. There was a German Shepherd in a parking lot, and it appeared that the dog was hiding under a car to avoid contact with humans. One of the team's rescuers was the first to approach the dog. Loretta knew she had to make the German Shepherd feel as safe as possible. Aside from that, it was also a protocol measure to ensure her own safety. Loretta approached the dog and was surprised when the German Shepherd began to cry. During the rescue, other members of the team recorded a video which they later posted on their YouTube channel showing the dog crying. It was then that the rescuers decided to bring the dog a cheeseburger. However, the dog didn't seem too interested in the food, but this kept the animal from crying as much as it had when they arrived on the scene. The dog was a stranger to the rescuers, which made them very cautious about what it was capable of. Had the dog attacked without warning? Loretta was desperate to help the dog, but she knew that caution was imperative. It's no secret that you have to be cautious and patient with a frightened animal. The dog was huge, which only increased the team's concern. Everyone realized that things could quickly get out of hand if the dog behaved aggressively. In most cases, a frightened dog is likely to attack at any time. Therefore, anyone approaching should be careful. Dogs, like most animals, can attack if they feel threatened. Now by sheer luck, the team had decided to take a cheeseburger with them, which served as a brilliant tool to lure the dog out from under the car. However, the team found it very strange that the dog did not come out of hiding after showing the cheeseburger. All of the rescuers concluded that the fact that the dog remained under the car was a sign that it was terrified of the equipment. In their experience, any stray dog would have run for food without hesitation. However, the team had not given up yet. Loretta was trying to get a noose around the dog's neck without scaring it. When she realized that the dog was frightened, she let go of the rope. She hoped that by doing so, she could build trust. The dog quickly escaped from under the car, which took the rescue in a new direction. The dog got out and went to an area between two buildings behind the van. Another team member, Eldad, took a net and placed it at the entry points of this small space. Eldad was stationed at one of the exits, while Loretta waited at the other. The entire rescue was recorded by Eldad on his phone. In this video, anyone can see that these two rescuers were willing to do anything to help the stray dog. The dog kept whimpering and crying as it was sandwiched between the two buildings. Loretta kept trying to coax the terrified dog out of hiding. It was a horrible experience for everyone because the dog's whimpers and cries were hard to hear. The stray dog kept its ears down, which was taken by Loretta as an indication of how uncomfortable the dog was feeling. However, neither rescuer was in a hurry to leave the poor dog. This gave him time to calm down. When the dog finally calmed down, Loretta had no problem placing the trap around the German Shepherd's neck. The stray was still nervous, but did not resist. Once the dog was successfully captured, they planned to take it to the veterinary clinic. Eldad and Loretta made sure to be as gentle as possible. The team did everything they could to get the dog out of hiding. They knew they didn't want to scare the dog any more than it already was. That's why they let the dog move forward at her own pace. The Hope for Paws team was experienced enough to know that they had to calm and reassure the dog. Everything would have been more complicated if the dog had been even more frightened by the presence of the rescuers. That's why they gave words of encouragement to the animal. In the end, the team decided to name her Rain. This was the perfect name for the German Shepherd since they found her on a rainy day. The team still had a ways to go because the dog kept her tail between her legs the whole time, which was a sign of hesitation. After getting Rain out of her new hiding place, the team knew this was only a small victory. 
The dog was still visibly petrified as she kept crying and shaking while the rescuers were around her, so they had to be even more careful. Eldad decided to add another leash to the dog's collar as a safety measure. He petted Rain as he added this leash. The team hoped that this would let the poor dog know she was in good hands. Finally, they placed her in the team's cage. When the team saw Rain for the first time, they were absolutely shocked and terrified. The difference they could now see was huge, which reassured all the team members. The difference they could now see was huge, which reassured all the team members. They were glad that she didn't cry or shake, but she was still howling and whimpering from time to time. The Hope for Paws team was very happy when Rain let Eldad pet her head. It was a great result for the team. From the dog's body language, she was still apprehensive and cautious, but she allowed them to help her. Loretta and Eldad headed to the team car. They could see that Rain was cooperating fully with them for now, but they also understood that this could change at any time. It was clear that she still didn't trust Loretta and Eldad. After much persuasion, the team finally managed to get Rain into her cage. It took them a while, but they finally did it. Once Rain was safely in her cage, the team was able to move on to the next step of their plan. This one was heading to the clinic. Now going back, let's take a look at the person who got the Hope for Paws team involved with the stray dog. Carrie Linnell was concerned for the dog's safety and decided to call for help. However, the dog ran into the woman's arms once the team reached her. The team could see that Rain was already familiar with Carrie. It was also clear that the dog trusted the woman, which was a great relief to the team as Rain now felt much safer and more secure with Carrie by her side. The team was pleased with the dog's reaction to Carrie. However, they wondered if Rain was showing the woman her gratitude. Whatever the reason, the team was relieved to see her more calm and relaxed with Carrie by her side. One thing that was clear was that Rain simply wanted to make sure she would be okay. This could be due to the fact that she had previously suffered at the hands of humans. That would be a plausible explanation for how scared she was. After everything the team had been through with Rain, her reaction to the woman was completely unexpected. However, it helped keep her comfortable while she was in the cage. She seemed almost completely calm at this point, which was a big improvement. Now, it was hard to say what had made Rain feel more comfortable. It could have been the sight of the woman who called the team, or the comfortable cushions covering the bottom of the cage. Still, the rescuers were pleased with her mood. After placing Rain in the cage, she seemed visibly calmer. In fact, she was the most relaxed the team had ever seen her. She wasn't whining or crying. This change was completely unexpected, but welcomed with open arms. She was different. After observing Rain one more time, Loretta was sure the dog was smiling. Not to mention that she was wagging her tail as well. It seemed that Rain knew she was now in good hands. This brought great happiness to the team. As the team moved her cage into the vehicle, she seemed to be very curious about where she was being placed. She was certainly curious about her surroundings. In addition, she was also much calmer than when she was out of her cage. After the team put Rain in the cage, she was able to eat the cheeseburger that was initially brought to her. The dog was delighted with the food, which was demonstrated by the wagging of her tail. It was clear that she was very comfortable. Once Rain was examined and prepped, it began to feel like a new chapter for the dog. There was no doubt that Rain deserved to live with a family that would love and care for her. She had already been through more than she needed to, so she needed a proper home. It's hard to believe that Rain was the same dog as when the rescuers had first seen her. She had changed completely. She was a loving and attentive dog who loved attention and cuddles. It was clear that this was Rain's first time at a dog spa. Eldad and Loretta realized that she loved every minute of her time. By the end of her dog spa treatment, Rain seemed like a different dog, which was comforting. First and foremost, Rain needed to relearn what it meant to be with humans. Her previous experience wouldn't help her when it came time to put her in a forever home. That's why the team pulled out all the stops. Rain 
is now considered one of the most loving dogs the Hope for Paws team has ever rescued. The way to Rain's heart is definitely through tons and tons of cuddles. She just can't get enough of them. Her improvement is something truly remarkable. After the way Rain reacted to the rescuers, it was clear that she had not been placed in the right home. This undoubtedly had a big impact on the way she behaved. However, thanks to the rescuers, she's now in the right place and where she belongs. Most of the time, abandoned dogs end up in poor condition, making it difficult to adopt them into a forever home. This poor puppy, Winter, was rescued and moved to a shelter. Soon after, she became known as the least adoptable dog. She had no idea what was in store for her. Winter was taken to Barks, or the Baltimore Animal Care and Rescue Shelter in Maryland. The shelter spokesperson said, she was there without food, water, or fresh air for a week. Winter had eaten through the drywall. Shelter rescuers did not know if it was because she was starving or an escape attempt. Winter was already an older dog, and her breed is often considered scary by many people. Even though saving her would have cost a lot of resources and time, the shelter didn't think twice about helping her. Barks took her in and made sure she recovered. The rescue team realized that Winter was most likely part of a puppy mill where she was used for breeding. Since she is a beautiful purebred pit bull, she was likely put in inhumane conditions and used to get as many puppies as possible. Winter's underbelly made it clear that she had had many pregnancies. It was a sad reminder of all she had been through and the fact that she had been abandoned. It also meant that prospective owners who came to see her were turned away. The shelter was not optimistic about finding her a home. The shelter shared that due to her age, her belly is not something that will ever tighten. Females with these characteristics are often turned away from our shelter. Winter was already six years old, which is the equivalent of 42 human years. As it is, older dogs in shelters tend to be overlooked more often than not. Pit bulls have often been mistreated and used for puppy mills and dog fighting. NFL quarterback Michael Vick was sentenced to 21 months in prison for running a dog fighting ring. Unfortunately, many NFL players don't have a great track record when it comes to dogs. Another side effect of using pit bulls so frequently in dog fighting is that they've started to get a reputation for being aggressive and unfriendly dogs. Pit bulls that receive good treatment and affection are gentle, loyal, and loving by nature. Despite all odds against her, Winter was eventually adopted. Bark shared her adoption happy tale in a Facebook post that read, Beautiful Winter is a dog who has spent most of her six years of life falling into sad and unfortunate situations. She was found in an empty property on a hot day with no electricity and no windows open. She was dehydrated and very frightened. Winter has a long, sagging belly, likely the result of overbreeding, something we see all too often at our shelter. In June of 2016, Barks received a visit from someone special. Two NFL players showed up with the girlfriends of one of them. Now at first, the two men seemed intimidating to those who didn't know who the football players were, but the employee softened when one of them said, we're looking for a dog that's been here a long time and might not be so adoptable. The NFL players who showed up were Ronnie Stanley, who plays offensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, along with his girlfriend, Emily, as well as teammate Alex Lewis, an NFL rookie. Shelter employees were thrilled that the team was looking for a dog that was specifically less desirable than most people looking to adopt. As Ronnie took a look at all the unadoptable dogs, he noticed one that caught his eye. He overlooked all those undesirable qualities that bothered other people. Barks shared, Dogs with those characteristics are usually overlooked at our shelter, but not by Ronnie. Although shelter employees told Ronnie that she had a low belly, this did not deter him. His response was, well, that's what happens when you've had babies. Stanley never strayed from his initial criteria of looking for a dog deemed unadoptable. On an episode of Animal Planet Stars to the Rescue, Ronnie commented, To be able to help a dog in need, I've always intended to do that. I told some of my co-workers that I wanted to adopt a dog, 
and Barks was the place they suggested. Winter immediately approached Ronnie, running up to him and licking his face affectionately. He immediately signed up for the adoption class and brought Winter home. Barks shared a post on Facebook that said, We are so proud to have amazing guys like Ronnie as role models for the kids in our city. His one act of kindness not only makes adoption great, but makes giving love to an imperfectly perfect dog manly. Alex Lewis was the companion who joined Stanley at the shelter that day. Now, he didn't end up adopting a dog that day, but he was no stranger to shelter animals. Lewis volunteered at an animal shelter while in college. He later volunteered at Barks while Stanley was enrolled in the adoption class. Although Winter now had a new owner, her past was still there. Stanley decided it was time for a fresh start, so he gave her a new name, Lola. He shared, I looked for one of her older dogs that probably wouldn't have been adopted. Just like I was chosen by the Ravens, I wanted Lola to have the same feeling of being wanted when I adopted her. Unfortunately, Lola was still suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, and Stanley was well aware of this. He made sure to do everything he could to help her overcome her problems, and felt it was his mission to help her feel safe. With a lot of love and care from Stanley, Lola was on the road to recovery. Now, although Lola's situation has improved, Stanley knows and accepts that she may never be quite right after all she's been through. He's fine with it, and has even adopted a second dog from Barks named Zappa. He renamed him Rico, and the three of them make a happy, loving little family. 